Hey everyone again, I have Peter here with me, Assistant at Workers Bahrain 2010. So Peter, can you tell the audience about yourself? Um, I'm Pete Matthews, as you so rightly say. <laughs> I'm a technical marketing engineer within Cisco. I've been in Cisco 10 years nearly. Oh, wow. And I've always been a technical marketing engineer. Okay. Now what that means is that uh, I'm like the technical conscience of the product managers. I do the technical and the engineering, but I work within the marketing organization. Oh, nice. That is a lovely job. Can you hire me? I wish we could. I wish we could. <laughs> okay. Do, do you have 26 years in telecoms experience? Uh, no. No, well. I'm, you know, I'm 19. And <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me, what was your session about today? Uh, we, we did a tectorial yesterday, which was good, and it was uh, about video technologies. And today, we sort of extended that a little bit more with regard to a bit more of a deep dive oh. onto video technologies, standards, and architectures. Okay, so I, I'm hearing that a lot of people now, a lot of businesses talking about video. Why video and why now? Well, it's interesting, video, video conferencing, I think probably most people in the IT business would be familiar okay. with. And things like video on demand in terms of training video, it's been around for a long time. Okay. But it's now, there's lots of this technology has actually migrated away from its traditional place, traditional mechanisms and, and proprietary standards, and actually coming onto an IP network. Okay. And things like telepresence, you know, it's really brought that tiny little video conferencing screen, which people are probably familiar with if they've used right up to a high definition experience, like being there. Oh. So people are now realizing that the, it's affordable, it's a realistic option, i.e. it works and it's, it's a good user interface. And they can do new business with it. They found new ways. New ways of doing business. New ways of doing business, not just doing business, but uh, creating new business. And keeping customers, retaining customers, getting new customers. Uh, cost efficiencies, making sure that they can do business more efficiently okay. and reducing the operational costs they have in their organization. And one big example within Cisco is that normally we're not allowed to travel unless there's customers involved, yes. i.e. there's customers all around here, so this is a kind of exception. But over the last year to 18 months, all our travel has really, really been cut down. Okay. And we do a lot of our meetings now using video, using telepresence, and using our collaboration tools. Uh, so it's, it's wrong that if I say video is the future, video is now. Video uh, is now and the future. Okay. Video will not replace everything, but video has now really found its foothold in the technology within IT, but also within businesses, and they're learning how to use, how to use it more effectively. Okay, so I have a last question from, for you. I don't want to take a lot of your time. So the last question is, what if a, a, an enterprise or a company didn't think about video until now? What do you want to say to them? Think about your business processes. Are you going through a tough time at the moment? Most, most companies are. Not all of them, but most companies are. Are there, are there ways you could use video to stop some of that pain? Cutting down travel, not having face-to-face -face meetings, could you use video instead? Do you use a lot of paper-based training material? Could you do it over the network from a central site, download it on demand to students and to your new hires and to people who you need to train on your products or technology? Could you do advertising and media out to your customers more efficiently, not by burning it onto a DVD and sending it to the um, to a dealership or to the store or to wherever, actually create it. Most of your money goes on the media anyway. Yeah. Create it, download it during the night time when the bandwidth's not being used. Get it onto the site and it plays automatically. There's lots of different ways you can use video media to enhance your business. Peter, this is very enjoyable, but I know you have to go and check a lot of emails because of the two days you've been here. Sure. So thank you very much for your time, and I hope the audience enjoyed our interview. Thank okay. you, Peter. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Perfect. Hey. Thank you very much. How was that? That was all right.